The infrastructure bill contains a number of programs that cut across the intersection of technology and environmental policy, including carbon capture and storage, as well as water infrastructure. For water, the legislation provides up to $55 billion to help upgrade or replace aging and damaged infrastructure. It does this in large part through two existing loan funds, the Drinking Water State Revolving Fund and the Clean Water State Revolving Fund. The Drinking Water Revolving Fund provides grants to states to capitalize low interest loans to meet safe drinking water needs. And the Clean Water Loan Fund functions similarly, but with respect to surface waters and other waters. Through these and other programs, the infrastructure package promotes new water use as well as storage technology while addressing environmental justice concerns. These are concerns related to rural and impoverished communities that are a large focus of the current administration's efforts. Intended to prevent issues like those that contributed to the crisis in Flint, Michigan, the bill provides $15 billion to replace aging and damaged infrastructure in the form of lead service pipes. That's a portion of the $30 billion in total set aside for the Drinking Water Revolving Loan Program. The bill also allocates $10 billion across multiple programs to address new and emerging contaminants like PFAS. Other technology-focused provisions in the legislation include the Wastewater Energy Efficiency Grant Pilot Program, the Sewer Overflow and Stormwater Reuse Municipal Grant Program, and the Stormwater Infrastructure Technology Program. These programs help recipients improve and upgrade wastewater or stormwater treatment, develop new creative ways to meet increasing water use and to meet wastewater and stormwater management needs, and can help find alternative water sources, increase efficiency, incorporate stormwater control technologies, and bolster resiliency against hazards, both natural and of a cyber origin. Beyond the loan funds, the legislation requires the Department of Interior through the Bureau of Reclamation to conduct feasibility studies and create an approval process for water storage, groundwater storage, and conveyance projects. Not unlike that what we see with the bill's provisions with respect to carbon capture and sequestration. To support these programs, the bill provides $8.3 billion in funding, portions of which will focus on areas where technology plays a vital role including water storage, conveyance, recycling, reuse, desalination, and improving natural and nature-based features. Many of these programs will focus on Western states or rural areas where water scarcity issues are paramount. And many of them, in many cases, give priority to areas that affect multiple states, drought-stricken areas, such as the Colorado River Basin. Innovation will play a key role for our utilities, both water and power, in meeting our energy demands while protecting the environment. The infrastructure legislation provides ample funding to help develop these technologies in both areas.